What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Leah, back with another video. Today, we are in Richmond, Virginia, reviewing a one point, almost $1.6 million property. It is listed for one million. <laughs> it is listed for $1,599,000. It is a five bed, four bath, 3,464 square foot new construction single family home. And it looks like it is at the end of a lot. So, or the end of of a road um i didn't even notice that until now so let's go ahead and take a peek guys while i'm getting this ready please make sure that you guys understand that i am a north carolina south carolina virginia and georgia real estate professional and none of these comments are made with ill intentions towards any of the parties that are associated with this transaction it is for entertainment purposes only guys if you need any help buying selling or investing in real estate in any of the states that i just mentioned or i don't care if you are in in New York. I don't care if you're in Ohio. I don't care if you're across the country. If you guys need assistance, do not hesitate to reach out to me and I will do whatever I can to help you. I have connections all over and I will not let anybody do you wrong. So let's go ahead and review this beautiful, beautiful property that might not be um, in the, the best look. I mean, I don't know what's going on with this lot. Okay, like I like it, but I do not like that it is facing a potential lot that may or may not get built on one day. You know what I mean? Because then who's gonna? How are you gonna? How are you gonna see? Do you know? You know what I mean? Like I feel like they just stuck this house here. So let's go ahead and see. I do like the outside exterior. I love the 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 white accents. I like the 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 wood accents. I like I like the house. It's literally just the placement. It's just the placement. They should have just sold. I don't know. If this lot is with it but if it's not they should have definitely just just got brought those parcels together honestly okay so okay first thing we see is a, a little office area okay so this is telling me that it's staged it's a new construction so pro nobody lived in it more than likely okay i don't see anything wrong with this this is just normal you know what i mean i like the flooring i like the the color scheme so far we don't know there's gonna be some surprises there's always something as we go throughout these pictures oh this is gorgeous this is gorgeous this is gorgeous this is gorgeous okay i i they trying to put the best they're trying to put the best stuff first i'm already knowing they're trying to put the best stuff first you guys know that i'm a fan of the wood paneling anything that would even hint at it being like some style of like industrial i am an advocate i love this big mirror that they put here i think that they definitely staged this very very well i like the windows they're not as big as they could be but i do like them i don't think that they're like in a bad placement you could easily put a bed there if you wanted to put it put it like directly in between the windows but i do like the way that they, that they have this bed place i like that they have you know some sitting chairs i like this i i love the way that it's designed and i really like the wood paneling and the ceiling fan the ceiling fan is gorgeous flooring is gorgeous they did really well with this particular space yes this is beautiful this is beautiful this is beautiful i love i love all of this this is gorgeous like whoever whoever stages just did very well i think that the wood paneling definitely sets it off a lot i like that the wood isn't too dark but they they added like little aspects here and there that would make like you know things just pop i like the farmhouse doors that's probably leading to oh what okay they're 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 showing off a little bit they're showing off a little bit i'm trying to <laughs> y'all know y'all know i critique I critique just a little harshly, but I'm having a hard time finding things so far. I know we're only on the fifth picture, but I'm having a hard time. I'm having a hard time with this one. I love the shower. I love, 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 love the shower. They have a a, a shower uh, faucet where the water comes from overhead, and then they also have like a normal faucet. I like that a lot. I like that there are dual sinks and they're on opposite sides. I do like that a lot. I, I don't necessarily like mirrors you guys know if i'm paying hundreds of thousands up towards millions of dollars for a property i want to be able to see all of me but for this one i really don't dislike it i really don't i like the marble looking countertops i like the black faucets i like the wood cabinets you guys know i need cabinets i don't like sinks that are just open on the bottom i feel like if you are if you're living in a house and you're going to use the bathroom you are gonna need to be able to put things places and what better place to put things for the bathroom 
than in the cabinets in the bathroom. So I don't really like when it's open. So this is really nice. And they have plenty of storage space. They have plenty of storage space, plenty of drawers that they could use. So I really, really, really like this a lot. So no complaints at all. There is not a tub in this bathroom, it looks like, unless it's on, it's not on the other side. They even have an area for the, the toilet. So a couple of videos before this one, I had posted that usually the toilet will be in its own separate little section and then the shower um, and sinks would be in their own separate section and this is what i meant before i had reviewed a, uh, a house that had the the toilet and the shower in the same little room so you could close the door and it would just be the toilet and the shower and then the sinks were in another like uh, in a in the same section just you know divided by the door but then i noticed that each room was going into you know to use that bathroom so i assume that that's why i don't i don't think that there's anything wrong with that i just you know it's just something that i noticed i thought that these mirrors were going to be long Longer. so I don't like I said I don't dislike it I just wish I wish that these were just a tiny bit longer um, I feel like they should take up the entirety of the sink to me um okay so this is the closet the closet is nice the closet is nice I feel like you know I I, I can see why they put things on the shelves of the closet just to you know show you like you can put pretty much anything in there you know it doesn't really change like anything about the closet it doesn't make it look any differently just using up the space i like all of this this is gorgeous i love this type of furniture i like the sectional they're definitely making use of these types of ceiling fans throughout the property and that's really nice i love the ceiling i think that that's like a, a nice like subtle touch that some people may not notice if they're not really looking but i really do like that it looks like the property has like it's over almost 3,500 square feet. So this is this is nice. You're gonna have plenty of space. I love the the blue under where the island is. I like I like that they have some blue in there. I don't like when you know colors are too too dark. So I like when they put like a powder color in there. Oh yeah, and that's like my favorite type of blue too. You got a little like mini. You could put like probably wine and stuff in there or some type of beverage. You got a huge a huge 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 stove love the farmhouse sink you got plenty of cabinet space that are touching the ceiling i love the, the light fixtures i'm gonna ha I'm, ha I'm having a really hard time like finding something about this property that i don't like um and for 15 million or not 15 million for 1.5 million almost 1.6 million dollars yeah i can see why this house is the way that it is it's gorgeous they did a very good job oh i, I almost forgot see the house is so nice that i almost forgot the placement on the lot it's location 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 and that means like the amenities that are around how far it is from you know the schools that you know your child may go to or the how far is it from the local target how or how far is it from target how far is it from walmart how far is it from center areas like how centrally located is this house i almost forgot about that that is a major thing i was i had almost got so wrapped into how nice the property looks on the inside that i almost forgot about the placement of the house so i I'm gonna have to dock it down some points for that for sure i do like the open cabinets i i i i mean honestly i feel like this is enough this is enough glass cabinets i don't feel like you need to have all of those cabinets open because sometimes if you got tupperware you know all kinds of mis mis mismatched <laughs> dishes and stuff nobody you know needs to see all that so i i think that this is enough space that is glass so i do like that a lot i like the stove i like the 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 fan or the hood that's above it i'm assuming that the microwave is probably within the cabinet i mean the counter somewhere i think i'll see it peeking just a little bit over next to the refrigerator yeah i like this a lot i really really do like this i like the color of the island oh they got like a little fireplace that's really nice too there's plenty of greenery you guys know that i am originally from virginia so i really value being able to see like you know trees and grass and stuff i currently live down in charlotte so like i don't get to see it as much i do i see trees obviously but I don't get to see it as much as I would in Virginia. I like the the flooring. I like all the color concepts and the materials that they pick for this property. I think that they all go really well together. I like that there's like a, a separate dining area. So if you are the type of family that, you know, likes to sit down and eat at the table, then you have that option, but you can also eat 
get the island if you would want to yeah so i was i was i was right like this is the microwave so you don't have to worry about hanging up a microwave above like the stove like you would see in some properties you don't have to worry about putting it on this the, the counters um this is nice this is really really nice i like it a lot it's just that placement that lot placement okay okay so this is a pantry out I, I don't know if this is like a freezer or another refrigerator but that's a nice touch pretty decent sized pantry you're not gonna run out of any pantry space okay there's that dining area you got a vent we saw that on uh in the outside i like this a lot i like this it's pretty nice okay more pictures of the kitchen okay like a little sitting area so when you come in you can come in like take off your shoes hang up your coats and all that good stuff okay what area is this i mm. so i think this is probably upstairs because remember there's five bedrooms here there's five bedrooms in this house this i don't know these these it probably they're probably just different windows which is fine you know what i mean this window is narrower but it's longer these ones are just like they look like they're just like regular windows i like this space i don't know if i would have turned this into you know what i mean yeah i mean i guess it could be a sitting area it could be a sitting area i don't know what else you would put in this this part unless you were to put like in i mean an office space i guess not really because you don't want people if you're working you don't want people coming up the stairs and then interrupting you so yeah it would just be like a little another living area i like the built-in bookshelf i'm a huge advocate for books and having space for things like that so that's that's a nice touch for sure is that a tv built in i like this um i like the ceiling fan a lot too okay yeah this is nice this is nice okay so i'm assuming that this is a bedroom i i, I think this is okay i mean i don't like the carpet i do not like the carpet especially for a new construction home they should have just put um they probably should have just kept the wood the wood consistent throughout the house because carpeting is just like not it for me unless this isn't meant to be well it's five bedroom so yeah no i would have just kept the wood the wood concept going like this bathroom they did very very well so remember guys that the most important places in the house are the kitchen and the bathroom those are going to be the selling points okay kitchen and the bathrooms kitchen and the bathroom those are the areas where you spend the majority of your time you might go into your bedroom just to lay down and stuff but the majority of your time is going to be spent in the kitchen you got to see that stuff every day when you come in it's like okay you know i can't just make over my kitchen whenever i want to if you wanted to make over your bedroom the only thing that you wouldn't be able to change is probably the layout but your bathroom room in your kitchen you're gonna have to do like different things you know if you want to change it especially like say for instance you want to change the placement of the sink you have to call in somebody to do that if you don't know how to do it yourself the kitchen and the bathroom are the most important spaces in the home they are the most important spaces because every other space is customizable i like this shower just a simple bath bathtub simple shower you know there's nothing wrong with that i like the tiling on the floor i don't feel like that's like overwhelming or anything i do like that they kept the the mirrors consistent like they did with the master bedroom that's downstairs i like the black cabinets i'm usually more of an advocate for like wood type cabinets but these are not bad at all i think that it's nice i think they all go well together okay so this is just another bedroom i like that they have like a built-in uh desk space so you don't have to worry about buying that they see they kept the, the wood floor in, in most of the bedrooms from what it looks like okay so this is oh this is like a laundry room okay this is laundry so you even have counter space to be able to fold your clothes and put different things in your laundry room so i would assume that your washer goes here and your dryer goes here so it's gonna be your 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 dryer might be like right up against this this counter because it doesn't look like you know there's gonna be a lot of space in between um, the counter and the washer dryer especially if the dryer is like a, a decent size there's nothing wrong with that but you know if you wanted to use this space the dryer is gonna be right there okay i like this a lot I like this simple bedroom i don't dislike you know dislike it i like that it both they they all have windows they have to have windows okay so it looks like this is a a shared bathroom so one of the bathrooms is shared so this is a bedroom and i i'm i'm assuming that this is another bedroom here so like i was saying earlier with the property that i reviewed in i believe it was dc it was either in dc or it was in charlotte there was a shared bathroom that had the shower in the toilet in the same little section and in the, the the sink in the same i mean in a different section but they were all like connected yeah okay so there's two sinks there's a sink here and then there's a sink here i like that i like that a lot okay another bedroom they're all pretty decent sized bedrooms so you're not gonna run out of run out of room when it comes to 
two rooms. So that's good. If you have a large family, you would enjoy all of this space. Two car garage, that's nice. Like, oh, you got, you got kind of like a tiny yard. You know, I'm really hoping that they just do, they just do something with this lot. The, bat, the, the backyard is not very big, but I do like that there's a privacy fence. <sighs> they just need to leave this lot the way that it is, like, or sell it to the, the potential buyers of this house. Because if they put a house here, who wants to see that? Like, say for instance, you go to sell your house, right? How are you going to take a picture of it? Because there's another house in front of it. I like this little area right here. This is in the Enclave Westview. Okay. Yeah. Just please don't put anything here. Please, 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 please. These homes are too large to be glued together like that. Okay. So let me go ahead and wrap this up. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is the end of this review. If I had to rate this house out of 10, I would probably say probably a six probably a six and i'm i'm i was ta i'm taking off a bunch of points because of the placement on the lot now personally right if i were the builder i would have put the house like in the middle of the two of those those lots and just created one parcel because now the house is in an awkward position and there's a lot that may or may not be able to be used in its best highest and best use if that makes sense. So I'm gonna give it a six. I do like the inside of the house. I think that it is gorgeous. It's just the outside of the house that, you know what I mean? It's really, really, really like throwing me off a little bit. But overall, you know what I mean? It's the, the inside is gorgeous. I like everything that they, they have going on with it. There's very little that I could say about it, you know, that would make me dislike it besides the outside placement of the house. And once they laid that foundation, it was pretty much over. You know what I mean? It was over from there. There's no turning back. So anyways, guys, I appreciate each and every single one of you that watched throughout the video. You guys are amazing. I really appreciate each and every single one of your support. Make sure to go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to your channel. If you need any help buying, selling, or investing in real estate, make sure to go ahead and reach out to me. Like I said, my contact information will be down below. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.